The following audio is via a Skype call. It's time to believe in your own body, mind, and soul. Thrive by Jen takes you through this next hour to help you release your full potential. Jen has been there when the going gets tough, and she's now here to guide you through your own difficulties and help you thrive too. Jennifer Zeloff joins Dr. Pat Basile to provide you excellence in self-development and guidance. Sit back and enjoy because you're about to listen to Thrive by Jen. Now, here are your hosts. That's it. We're ready to have some super fun. I'm Dr. <laughs> Pat. I'm here with Jen Zeloff. This is Thrive by Jen radio body confidence mind fulfillment soul synchronicity and you know what today we are kicking it up i am excited yes it's been a long time since we chatted so i I was super excited about this i know super excited Uh, i think rob Rob, hey rob yeah buddy mute your mic there Bob. Rob, turn that mic off (laughs) we'll we'll hear it in a second There he goes. How many times have we done that? No, I've had plenty. I've had plenty. Um, huh? Yeah. That's what, that's what I like about you guys. Everything happens real time. Everything is just as is. Come on. What are you going to do? I know. Right? I love it. You know, uh, it, it's really interesting. I mean, honestly. I, you know what, though? It's, but, it, but what's so, what I love about that is that I think we've become such a, Right, especially in in even in your industry, right? Everything can get edited, everything can get perfected, everything can get right. So we become right. Pictures get, um, pictures get edited out and photoshopped. So when you see the realness, I think that's what people are missing, right? I think I think we're missing that. I agree. I agree. I got an email this morning. I I know this is off topic with what we're going to talk about here, but I got an email this morning from somebody who said, Pat, call your buddy, uh, (laughs) Senator Schumer, Mm -hmm. call your buddy from New York, call him. And, and I called this person, sent me the email. I said, dude, what are you talking about? I said, I, I, why do I need to call him? He's like doing his thing. He said, did you, did you hear him this morning? I said, you know what? I am, I'm doing my show. I said, I, so what, what's the point? What are you trying to say? He said, OMG, the dude mispronounced the names of the witnesses. And, uh, and, he, and, and he said, don't you coach people on that? <laughs> and I just laughed and I said, I said, I do, but I don't coach senators. No, <laughs> no. there we go. I said, you know, I, I said, if you got to re- if you are just reading from a script about what's in the headlines, you need to go back to senator school. I told this guy. And then I, and then I finally saw the clip of it and I said, man, the dude's being real. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And that's what we're talking about here. Yeah. Today. I think we're so yeah. hungry. Mm-hmm. For a level of, I just would love to see people for a minute say what they really experience in life. And that's what today's about. You yeah. know, the show today is taking a look at one of, I think, the toughest things to look at. And that is looking at the confidence we have in our bodies mm-hmm. and taking a look at what our mind is about. Mm -hmm. what our soul is about and what, how all of this comes together. But for you, you've been over there creating, creating, creating. I want to start out by asking you Mm -hmm. to talk a little bit about the fuel for the flesh coaching. Yeah. This has, I love that. It's been amazing, you know, and just to start off, I asked, you know, because we'll talk about it in the show later, but one of my visions was to get back to creating. I and when I think of creating, uh, I felt uh, I, I thought of creation like whenever I would meet an artist, I would be like, "Oh gosh, I'm so that's so awesome that you can create like that." So I always attributed creating and creation to artists. You, uh, you know, we're drawing pictures, graphic artists, things like that, or jewelry design. It was more, um, more. Uh, pleasing to the eye. Yeah, yeah. Versus, it was more pleasing to the eye. Where for me, my soul was looking for creativity to create 
something that would help others. And so I put it out there. That was on my vision. And sure enough, God delivered and started um, pl- placing on my heart fuel for the flesh coaching, which, Boom. It, yeah, it was awesome, which has, in essence, it's right. We have free will choices. So our free will choices can move us towards our visions or our free will choices can take us away from them. And this is all about making those free will choices that put you on your best path. You know, I have to say, I know you and I did not plan this in the context of what's happening in the media right now. I know we, you and I didn't sit down and say, oh, they're talking about sexual abuse. Let's talk about the body. Mm-hmm. But I will say that the universe God's spirit doesn't make any mistakes. And so for somebody like me, when we're talking about fuel for the flesh coaching, and we're talking about body confidence, mind fulfillment, soul synchronicity, we are talking about a level of confidence, a level of fuel Mm -hmm. that is so deeply ingrained in ourselves, Mm -hmm. cellular. And I have to tell you that, um, You know, I've been watching some of the events in the media, Mm -hmm. and I got to tell you, I was triggered. I was talking to Linda, uh, who's up in Vermont, and I was talking to to Linda, and I said, man, you know, this is like bringing up all sorts of abuse that happened to me when I was six. Mm -hmm. And, you know, you don't forget it, but I've done a lot of work on this. And you don't forget those things that have caused you to either feel good about yourself Mm -hmm. on the inside or out or not. Yeah. And so the question is, are we aware enough to know that? Are we aware enough to know that? And you're starting out with body confidence. Mm -hmm. And so let's talk about the level of awareness, but let's talk about why that is so important. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I think it's twofold. And you said it. I love what you said. Awareness. So for fuel for the flesh, it's twofold. So the twofold is, is on the body confidence side of, let's just say the, as you experience the day, okay, as you experience the day to yourself. And then the other side of it is as you experience the day impacting others. So there's really for fuel for the flesh, it's twofold. And and in all in all instances, body, mind, and soul, is that we we do things that impact ourselves, but we do things that impact others. And with with what's going on now in in the media and even in our world, I mean, we've we've lost this um like we've almost, you know, we we've we've turned a, a we've just turned a deaf ear to, to what we're causing, the pain that we're causing people, you know, like with like our actions, we're not taking responsibility for. And then, right. We we're now in a society where not only are we not taking responsibility for it, we're then putting it in, in the position of it being someone else's fault. Like it's somebody else's fault that I behaved so poorly. And so fuel for the flesh is, it's a combination of coaching from from the perspective of giving for body confidence, having enough confidence to know that it's not supposed to be externally, right? Everything is supposed to be mm-hmm. internally. And also for taking the responsibility for our actions that they have on other people. I mean, this is where I feel like we've really lost control of our behavior, and, 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 and more so even like, it's like constant, right? It's constantly coming out, constantly coming out. And it's, it's, you know, I'd like to, to make the statement that it has to change, but we've been saying that, right. And, and it's yeah. only getting worse. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was interesting this morning, uh, excuse me, not this morning. I was talking to Linda the other night, cause I'm getting ready to fly to Vermont and I'm looking at the show you and I are doing. So I always prepare for the show. Mm-hmm. And I had a moment, Linda was sharing some information with me on, you, you know, GPAT, you, you know, people don't believe, they don't believe that things can happen to the body physically and that you don't remember everything. Mm-hmm. And I, I just said to her, I said, I'll tell you this. 
my view of my body, my self-image suffered, Mm. and I think still does to some extent, but suffered so greatly for so long. Mm -hmm. And I didn't understand Mm -hmm. why until I finally asked somebody. And one of the things that you know about this when you're building confidence in the body, Mm -hmm. mind, and the soul, Mm because all three are related. Totally. All three are related. And one of the things I was struck by is you don't forget the details of trauma and abuse. Mm. You don't. You know, you just don't. You may not, like, I may not remember the sister, the nun, that called me in her room as a six-year-old at least three times a week, had me take my clothes off and beat me with an iron brush. I don't forget her face. Mm -hmm. I don't forget her eyes. I can tell you today what she looked like. I could tell you where the room was, but you don't forget it. Right. Now, take a lifetime Mm -hmm. of just average every day. Jeez, Jen, why did you do what, Pat, why'd you color your hair that? What, mm-hmm. what are you doing sure. with that crazy? What are you, Billy Idol? Yeah. Y- you know, and, and uh, now think about how we talk to each other. Mm-hmm. Now think about how we talk to ourselves. When we mm-hmm. come back from break, we're going to look at the work that you're doing, how it cuts through the layers mm-hmm. and gets that, like Carolyn May said, it's a tissue issue. Yeah. How do we build that confidence? Yeah. How do we do it? How do we do it so that we can put on that those pair of tights, get out in that gym, or in my case, put on those, put on those tight leggings, get out there and play table tennis yep. and have your booty hanging out. Yeah. Let's take a short break. <laughs> we'll be right by. This is right by Jen. Living Lighter Radio with Jason and Patricia. We have an ecosystem approach to your life. Tune in weekly every Monday at 1 p.m. Pacific on Transformation Talk Radio as we, Jason and Patricia, discuss what's truly holding you back. We offer you the tools you need to reach your goals and at the same time be living lighter. For more information about Living Lighter, visit www.livinglighter.org. Calling all moms, it's time to awaken your vibrant, intuitive, loving self in every area of your life. Join host Debbie Pokornik as she shares thoughts, stories, and tools to help you stand in your power. Listen to Vibrant Powerful Moms Helping Everyday Women Create Extraordinary Lives, Mondays at 2.30 Pacific, 5.30 Eastern. For more information about Debbie, visit empoweringenergy.com. That's empowering with letters N-R-G.com. Golden Otter Divinations Radio, where the metaphysical meets the mainstream with Autumn Seibel. Tune in the first Friday every month at 9 a.m. Pacific as Autumn, educator, health coach, and medium, explores metaphysical and mainstream strategies on how to elevate your level of conscious living. Draw in the abundance that is yours by divine right. For more information about working with Autumn, visit goldenotter.us. That's golden like the precious metal and otter like the precious animal.us. Are you looking for the perfect setting for your next workshop or retreat? At Spirit Fire Meditative Retreat Center, cultivating consciousness is what we do best. Our guests count on us to create an atmosphere that supports serenity and well-being. We lead from the heart and create space for the mind. Freshly prepared meals designed with local and organic ingredients, 95 acres of beautiful woods and pastures, and a facility built with green in mind. This is what you'll find at Spirit Fire. For more information, visit SpiritFireRetreatCenter.com. Practice living in wholeness with the body tune-up. Six classes for $89 designed for radical self-healing and self-regeneration. Heal the deepest root of any challenge. The mental body was programmed in negativity, not good enough. Separate from source, you're too much, you'll never make it. The emotional body holds all the pain and trauma of emotional suppression. All the pain from this life and life's past. The spiritual body is the place you connect with your higher power, your higher self, with the image and likeness of the one. The physical body houses and expresses the other three bodies every day. Go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Evolve, become a practitioner. We need to heal, integrate, and bring into wholeness and harmony the physical body, addressing all the other bodies 
in order to live in our true, authentic nature. Say goodbye to all of them. Hasta la vista, baby. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Thrive by Jen Radio. Hey, Jen, before we talk about body confidence and mind fulfillment in the relationship here, um, I, I want to ask you, how can people find out more about you? How can they work with you? Tell they, us tell us about this. And also, how can they get into the Fuel for the Flesh for a coaching program? I know. I'm so excited Yay. about this. So visit me at jenniferzellup.com. We have a separate sign up for Fuel for the Flesh. I've made it crazy affordable because I know throughout my journey, I mean, it's been, you know, it's been a long 48 years. There's been a lot of ups and downs and, and I grew up under circumstances that led to, led to that, that were under traumatic experiences. So I know that when I had gone through, um, coaching and my work and my development that I always looked for something affordable. I didn't, you know, just, I didn't want to make it out of touch for people and, and, um, I wanted to make it accessible. So yeah, so just visit me at jenniferzellup.com and sign up for it. We can start coaching. There's also other programs there that are more, um, that you do yourself. It's a great foundation for getting going in building body confidence, mind fulfillment, and soul synchronicity that are extremely affordable. Just to, I always feel like it's, I was never one to, you know, it's funny, I'm a person who likes to dive in, but I completely understand when we just start chipping away, what I really learned is a little bit inch by inch is it's a cinch. And if you, we can just make a little bit at a time, not even changes, just getting it going into our, our everyday language, getting, talking about it it makes a big difference. I mean, that's, that's what's so important now is, uh, right. We're bringing things to light. Women are talking about what's going on. And that's, what's so important is that there's no, there should be absolutely no shame in this. There should be no no shame in, 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 in developing body confidence and mind fulfillment. There should be no shame in it. Like, again, it goes back to what you and I said at the beginning, we've become this, I don't know, it's like a fake, it's a fake existence, right? It's a, like this, this, anything goes, you know, your lack of respect and lack of understanding and lack of kindness. So it's, it's really out of hand. It is. And it's filtering down. You know, yeah. I I think it's one thing for us adults to be plugged in and really get a reflection of how we feel about ourselves, our body, because if you are looking at your body and you are mm-hmm. feeling less than confident, your mind kicks in, mm. right? Absolutely. So yeah. let's talk about the relationship between body, mind, and soul in this way. Yeah. You know, think about it. Yeah. You don't feel good about your body. Are you really going to put on those tight leggings and get out there in a tournament and play table tennis? Are you really going to do that? No, it stops us. That's right. the whole thing. It stops us from living, right? It stops us from living. But again, totally. too, we're looking towards, you know, we think this is about external and we've put our sights on externally and we can't, we have to go internal, you know, all of these together, it's about reconnecting right with our creator it's about reconnecting really on a soul level so it's our spiritual it's our spiritual self it's our it's our spirit side so connecting with that and and living in that i call it contentment because it's right we use the word happiness what does happiness mean what right happiness you could describe it a, a million ways i think we've we've kind of distorted the word happiness mm-hmm. especially in our social media world, what happiness means. This is about contentment, right? Because if we can be content with where we are, contentment is a sureness. Contentment is confidence, right? Contentment is, yeah, things might not be going as well as expected now, but they're going to get better. Or contentment is also that confidence to experience what is in the media today, like having the confidence to stand up for oneself, having the confidence to say that that's not okay, right? That's not, right. this isn't, no, it's not okay for you to treat me this way. It's not okay for you to speak to me this way. But the flip side is, is body confidence and mind fulfillment and soul synchronicity from, from my perspective in my coaching, 
two wrongs don't make a right. So I'm coaching people. I'm not going to then you attack me. I'm attacking you. That's not no. because, right? Because that attacking, when we do it, of course, we're hurting others, but we're also hurting ourselves. You can't, you can't feel okay with that. We really are hurting ourselves. We really are hurting ourselves. Um, you know, I mean, I think what we're looking at too is a momentum buildup of energy and let's call it confidence or lack thereof, a momentum buildup of energy mm. that gets stored in the tissues and the cells mm. of our skin, of mm-hmm. our body. And when it gets stored there from whatever that thing is we're talking about, it could be anything, mm-hmm. you know, it could be anything. Um, it then operates in, in a conscious and subconscious way. Mm-hmm. Now the mind kicks in. Mm-hmm. And so how can you develop body confidence and mind fulfillment so that these two are operating together in a way where they complement each other, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Be- and and yep. there are some times, right, Jen, where you don't feel good about your body for whatever mm-hmm. reason, and you can use the mind, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Our yeah, self-talk. Whatever. Yeah. yeah. Our Let's self-talk. Talk about our- that our beliefs. Yeah. A hundred percent. And, and I still do it. I mean, they're right. They're just right. We have off moments where I just don't, what I do now is I don't let myself go to feed. um, You know, I, 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 you can call it, you call it whatever you want, good and evil, um, right. Good spirit, bad spirit, God and devil. I, I'd like to, I like to name things just simply because I know where I'm going towards. It's like, I know I have a target, right? I know where I'm moving. So when I'm sitting there and I'm, my self-talk is in a very big negative spiral, I'm quick to be like, nope, it's not, I'm not going there. I'm going to go towards my vision. I'm going towards my visions, my outcomes. What? So it, that's why it's important to have those visions. What is it that you want in your physical body. And then again, it's, it's, but it, again, it's, it's about, right. It's about movement. It's about feeling. It's about um, strength. It's, you know, I, I always explain it this way. If I said to you, you know, Hey Pat, do you want to buy, you know, do you want to buy losing 20 pounds? You'd be like, uh, okay, well, what, what does that look like? And I'd be like, ah, you, you lose 20 pounds and you'd still be like, well, I don't get it. But then if I said to you, Hey, do you want to buy losing 20 pounds? You'd say, well, what does that look like? Oh, you're going to move easier. Oh, you're going to jump out of your car. Oh, you're going to jump out of bed in the morning. Oh, you're going to be, you're going to be able to run and move faster when you play table tennis. Now all of a sudden you're like, yes, I, that's, I'm going to buy that. I mean, yeah. I'm in. yeah. So that's what we need to do with our visions. And every time that that self-talk comes in, then we create the new habit of create those new affirmations or create the new self-talk, right? That you're going to say, that's going to move you towards, you know, I, I, you know, that, that better feeling yeah. and you, it's constant. It's like a muscle. It's just, it's just working it. It's just constantly doing it. And now you get, you, you will, you get to the point where it's not, it's not okay. Like, it's not okay for my, me, myself to make me feel bad. It's not okay for somebody else to make me feel bad. And those are, you know, when somebody else says something that is hurtful or whether or not, it doesn't matter what their intentions were, they don't you know, for me, it's a belief that they don't get to make me feel that way. Mm-hmm. So I can walk away from not whatever, whatever they're going through, whatever they, whatever they said, whatever they said it, it's fine, but I am not going to let myself, yeah, yeah. you know, have an impact. I, on I like I what you said first. I like what you said first. Uh, you're going to go walk away. You're going to walk away from it. I mean, clearly, yeah. Where, you know, uh, look, you and I have been around a while. I work with women that have uh, been homeless, have been abused. I work with women recovering and addiction and alcoholism. Uh, And thing one, thing one that we talk about is that person Mm -hmm. over there 
that is either not in support of your sobriety or that mm-hmm. person in your life that hurts you, mm-hmm. just say no. Mm-hmm. Just say no. I mean, yeah. it sounds weird, yeah. but it's just say no. Yeah. And it's the hardest thing to do. It is hard. I've yeah. been there. Yeah, a hundred percent. I'm not saying it's easy. Yeah, a hundred. It's very hard. You have to just, right? You just have to want that, what you want so badly. Yeah. And also, too, I just, you know, again, in the coaching, I, I also in in what I hope happens is that as you go through this transition, though, we flip it, right? We can flip yeah. it to what what position we put other people in, right? Because if you came to me and you explained to me like, Jen, this is something that I want to do now, whether or not you have my support, that shouldn't be, right? That shouldn't be an issue. However, if I choose not to support you for whatever reason, I certainly shouldn't make it tougher for you. No, that's right. I think in the end, what we're talking about, and especially in your coaching program, one of the things we're talking about is we're talking about how to formulate what you want, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I can't remember when it was in my life where I shifted from, I don't want to think about those experiences anymore. Mm. You you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. Where, you you know, you have a scenario of something that happened to you, right? Mm -hmm. And you say to yourself, I don't want to think about those experiences anymore. There's a shift. I don't know if it's women that mentored me, but I didn't do it alone. Mm-hmm. And what you're talking about in your coaching program is helping people get to that place mm-hmm. where it's not about, oh my gosh, I don't want to think about that flashback. I don't want to see mm-hmm. that person's face again. I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want to, mm-hmm. where you get to, what is the life I desire? Mm-hmm. Uh, this is what I desire. Yeah. This is where I want to go. Yeah. And, and we're going to talk about that when we come back, because when you take body, the body confidence and then the mind fulfillment mm-hmm. and you put them together, mm-hmm. the soul gives you a round, loud cheer and yeah, applause. For sure. And we're going to talk about why when we come back. Drive by Jen. Jen Zellup's in the house. We're going to tell you how to find out more about this. Get ready to get ready. Yeah. That's what today's about. We'll be right back. Is traditional medicine not working for you? Do you still feel as if your health isn't 100%? Here at the Holistic Medical Center, Dr. Nushin Darvish and the qualified staff look through the dimensions of wellness and start a healing plan prioritized to your needs. Our physicians assess the whole you until complete health is achieved. Get the help you need by visiting drdarvish.com or call 425 451 Zero four zero four. What is holding you back from living the life you are meant to live? Why is it vital to believe in something bigger than yourself? Are you in physical or emotional pain? Tune in monthly to Vibrant Purposeful Living. Awaken the vibrant life within you with Lou Paradise and Dr. Pat on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Lou's passion is to help everyone experience positive solutions for life. Find out more about Lou with Vibrant Purposeful Living at louparadise.com. Are you ready to create a life you'll really love? Then you'll want to tune in to the hit show Life Design Radio from Adversity to Awesome with Susan DiLorenzo. Live each month on transformationtalkradio.com. No matter where you are in your adversity story, Life Design Radio has got you covered. Get ready to feel inspired, enlightened, and motivated. For more information about working with Susan, visit SusanDiLorenzo.com. Tune in to Lucid Planet Radio with Dr. Kelly Neff. This hit show will illuminate your senses and empower you beyond your daily stressors and hardships. Renowned psychologist and author Dr. Kelly will captivate you with far-reaching topics and amazing guests as you wake to the greatest version of yourself. Learn to tap into your intuitions, think critically about our world, heal emotional and psychological wounds, and follow your passions to live your dreams. The Lucid Planet. Welcome home. Visit lucidplanetradio.com for more information. Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co-hosting monthly with Dr. Pat, and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. 
My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. TheAngelLady.net 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 1-800-323-1790 Sue Storm TheAngelLady.net Reminds me of Jim Croce. Uh, is it Jim Croce? Uh, no, no, it's Jim, uh, John Denver. You were John close. Denver. Oh, Very close. Yeah. Very close. But it reminds yeah. me. Yeah, it reminds me of that music. Very I folky. Know, but I, uh-huh. I, I, I got my Billy Idol haircut on today. Though. <laughs> I'm just waiting for a little white wedding, right? What's the other one I like? Uh, the something without a face. I like that one too. From Billy Idol. I, I had Billy a Billy. Idol. I had. Yeah. I'll have to dig it up and or, send it or, to you. I had a, I had a, I did. I had a yeah. Billy Idol haircut. Oh, I got it today. Look at yeah. that Billy Idol up there, right in the head up there with the little short sides, right? I, I can actually do that little uh, Billy Idol snarly face. Ah, uh, that's a good one. That. We would do that. I actually have a, an old ping pong table tennis picture of me. <laughs> I think I sent it to Benny. And it's kind of like, oh, my God, look at that face. That girl, you know, it's like I looked at myself and I said, oh, my God. That's goodness. funny unapproachable awesome. is an understatement yeah 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 that's right well you have it's the game face so you have your game face on. it's a game face a game that's face. exactly right that's exactly right um you know look what we're talking about here is do we ever want more do we want more confidence do we want more fulfillment do we want more purpose uh-huh. and even when we don't admit that i don't know about you jen um I can point to times in my life where I would never declare that I wanted more because mm-hmm. I didn't believe that I would ever get yeah. anything sure. other than what I was living. Sure. hundred percent. Yeah. It's, right? yeah. I mean, that's a whole, right. That's from things that happened to us, our environment, yeah. what, right. What we were told um, for sure. I mean, I definitely was there as far as, you know, just making, I, I, you know, I can go through a million bad choices that I made as a result of, because I of not worthiness, not deserving, yeah. right? Not thinking, uh, like being, um, I guess not having that confidence of, of knowing that I deserved more or a better situation than what I was living. The flip side though, is that I, I mean, I wouldn't change anything, I really wouldn't. I wouldn't change. Yeah. It's just, it's who I was at the time. It's where, what I was ready for, what I could experience. And I, I, I read something this morning and it was about, you know, us, about behaving and acting in a way, the way that you, what you are seeking. So if you're, if you're seeking, uh, you know, whatever it is, if you're, if you, maybe you're looking for a higher position in a company or maybe you're looking to start a foundation or whatever it is, it's, it's, it, it, you, if you start acting that way, right, you're starting to live in that moment, you're starting to behave and your actions of, of the person who you're becoming. That was a big eye opener for me. And it, and it was just served as a reminder this morning. It's, it's, you know, it's, and look, this is so many years later that I've, I've, not only been coaching, but having been coached myself and also through a spiritual transformation with God is that every day, this is something that I do every day. This isn't something that you go through a coaching program, then you put it on a shelf and you're, it's, you know, everything's great. That's not how it works. You know, this morning again, you know, I, I, I have this thing now where I get up the same time every morning even when I don't have to. And again, I go through, there's some, right. I go through the negotiation at night. It's like, Oh, I could sleep in a little bit extra tomorrow. Maybe I will. (laughs) And then I'm like, no, I don't like that feeling. I like to get up early and have my meditation and do all the things that I do. So again, it's about stepping into where I'm going. Right. And, and doing those things. So it's just, you know, it's, it's, this is a journey and I, and, and this is about people. I'd like to share with people that you're celebrating 
where you are in the journey and to really be in it and celebrate it. Trials or tribulations or, you know, celebration moments, yeah. they, they really can mold us right a, a, into who we're becoming and there's no uh, there's no shame in that at all there should be no shame in, and and the people i gotta be honest with you look the people who are saying that that what's that that if something happens to you and you're talking about it and somebody is saying that boy that's shameful and and she shouldn't talk about that you kind of look at those people who are saying that like that's right for me. If somebody says something not nice to me, I'm like, okay, like that's I, that that just lost all validity for me to have that impact me. That's yeah. you know they're coming from a fearful place. They're coming yeah. from that. So you have to body confidence and mind fulfillment and soul synchronicity is about being able to let that go being able to step outside of that. Like I have compassion, you know, uh, right. They, the, 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 and I do it. The Bible says, love your enemy. And I do, I really do. I pray for my enemies. I, I praise that, you know, I, I bless them. I send blessings to them. I don't praise them, but I, I bring them into my prayers because they have to be so, they have to be so in so, so much pain Mm -hmm. for them to do what they're doing. And then that gives me strength to go through and, whether it be fight the good fight or mm-hmm. right enduring a, a, a trauma that I'm going under or, or, or climbing up a big steep hill to see what is on the other side. That's, you know, part of what keeps me going. Yeah. It's so interesting. You're talking about this uh, somewhere along the way of my spiritual journey. I don't even remember the year might've been 99. Who knows? I don't know. I decided that I was going to take all these classes, right? Because remember, I grew up Catholic and Southern Baptist, Yeah, right? I, so I had that effect. So anything to do with the catechism or anything to do with the Bible, I had plenty of that growing up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Somewhere along the way, though, uh, you know, when I was homeless, the way I got off the streets was, for a short period of time, was I became one of the Harry Krishna, we, we used to call him, right? Yep. Uh, did that for a while because I got clean clothes. Yep. But then I started to really branch out. So I took some classes and I took them up here at the Center for Spiritual Living. So here's what happened. I'm in the middle of a class and the whole class is about letting go and forgiveness, right? Yeah. And so the, God, who was the, who is the pastor? Lynn Jarnett. Yes. Reverend Lynn Jarnett. And she takes us through meditation and it's all like calm, right? You know, like that. And I'm like, so like jumping out of my skin, of course. <laughs> like, I'm like, all right, how long? I'm thinking, how, how long, long is this bleeping <laughs> thing going to last, right? And all, of sudden, and all of a sudden she says, now, think of the worst time in your life. Think of somebody that caused the worst time in your life. Now think of, get deeply into how horrible that was. Where you would be, she's going into it. So you got another five minutes of that. Yeah. So now I got an image in my mind and I'm like fire breathing dragon, like out of my eyes. And Lynn says, now do this. Mm. She says, I want you to take the name of the person and I want you to do the following. And I'm going to make up a name. Okay. Uh, I praise Mary. I raise Mary in the name of love. Mm. I Three times. Three times. This person I just f- spent five minutes remembering. And so what you said is so powerful that today, anytime I get a little bit off about anything, Anything. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is. It takes a lot for me to go into yeah, a fit. It sure. really does. Yeah. <laughs> I had yeah, a little fit sure. with my table tennis partner the other day. But even with that, in my mind, I was, I praise Rick. I raise Rick in the name of love. And then I do it for myself. Yeah. So what you talked about, even if you have to fake it, it yeah, works. It takes, a, it takes a, I mean, it does for me personally. I can only... You know, I'll give my own testimony. Forgiveness has been a process, you oh. know, and it's it's been oh. years in the making. And 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 it's funny. I had a the other day. I kind of 
had my own moment with God where he shared with me, if you're, if you, I don't know, ever talk to a girlfriend, let's say, and you, and you're talking about something that happened and they're like, oh, and you could say to them, hey, do you forgive Bill? And she'd be like, uh, yeah, I forgive him. And it was any sort of hesitation means that, right, you're still, you're, you're still not there. It's still, still left to, left to forgive. So all, I just look at that as that's just a, um, right. That's just a communication. That's you communicating, knowing yourself, knowing your body, knowing, um, you, you, you from the inside out about, you know, I'm not done. I'm not fully, you know what I mean? I still have to go back and forgive my enemy and, and, and bless him or her. And so I'll just do that, whether it be again, and I don't want people to get hung up on, um, rituals or steps or no you know what I mean like it's for me it's like a very you know I'm constantly doing things like that throughout the day I could be getting into my car and on my way to my car I'll be like mom I forgive you like I'm I'm really working on it I forgive you I mm-hmm. I you know what I mean I, I'm sending blessings so then I, and then I get into my car and go pick up my kids so it's not I'm not sitting down and no no meditating and and not saying that that's it's not wrong or right it's just that I've really, for me, it's important to bring this stuff Mm -hmm. into my everyday living, Mm -hmm. right? I call it everyday living with God is that I just every day, like I'm just doing something. I'm praying or, or thanking God or, or forgiving someone or asking for strength. Um, versus of course I have my block of time where, where I do my more, um, structured reading and praying, Mm -hmm. but, uh, I just think it's important to right? To bring that stuff in any, any time you can. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's talk, let's skip the break here for a minute. Uh, for those of you just tuning in, you're listening to Thrive by Jen with Jen Zellup. I'm Dr. Pat. I get to hang out with her and do this. And we're talking about body confidence, mind fulfillment, and soul synchronicity. You know, one of the things I love about this is how, you know, both of us have had to learn how to take a shortcut. So I went from that 45 minute Reverend Lynn Jardine to get me going, right? Yeah. Uh, to praising and raising. Yeah. To now what I do is 70 times a day. I don't even know if it's 70, but I had to train myself. All I say is thank you, God. Thank you, Spirit. Thank yeah. you, universe. In my mind. Yeah. I say thank sure. you. Whenever something comes up and fear and doubt mm-hmm. show up, See, Absolutely. that's what it's about. Yeah. It's not about the other person. No. Um, nope. And then the other 100%. thing too, yeah, I want you to talk about this. I want you to talk about, you know, how the development of these changed you. Uh, and then Bonnie Barnard said to me, she wrote several books on, on forgiveness. She said, mm-hmm. Pat, here's the deal. Forgiveness is never about you. Right. And it's, it's never, no, she said, it's never about the other person. Other person. Yeah. It's she about said, you. first of all, you're not condoning what no. they did. You just want to let them go because, yeah. you know, you got to be a little selfish around this. It's sure. it's tying you down. Yeah. So tell me about you. What have you done to bring these together? How have they changed you? So for me, it's for me, like, like similar to what you do. I, you know, uh, prayer is one of those things where, yeah, I, there's definitely a way to pray. And that's right. We, we, we see that in the Bible. But sometimes throughout the day, I'm just simply saying, help me, help me, God, help me, Holy Spirit, just because that's what I need at that moment. Because I think that fear is always knocking. I look at it as, you know, in a way, when I get really fearful, I I have reframed it. My reframe is when I get really fearful, that means that I'm on the verge of something, a big breakthrough, whether it be a breakthrough, whether it be really good, whether it be something you know, that's something that is going to change and help change the world or help impact the world in a positive way. I think that fear really comes knocking. So to me, first I reframe it and I embrace it. I'm like, okay, fear is knocking. And I, and then I, I fight to not give into it. Right. Cause, cause for me, what I want to do is I want to stop what I'm doing and I get scared. I'm like, oh, I can't do this. Like, who am I to do this? And again, that's where our body confidence comes in, right. In my fulfillment and soul synchronicity is, yes, I can do this. So I go into my affirmations. I talk myself, write the self-talk. I get my self-talk going. And then I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, if somebody else is attacking me 
or I'm, or I start to go into that negative self-talk. I'm like, you know what? Something good is coming. Mm -hmm. Like something, something good is around the corner. And for me to that reframe has been major in moving me forward and getting me out of, yeah, I could sit. I definitely, I can remember in my twenties, I still remember. And I hate, ah, I just was, I did not like this behavior. I would sit for, I would lose hours and recap every horrible thing my parents did to me. And it was like, and I sit back now at 48 and I say to myself, like, what, like, what was going on that, right? I was in such a deep hole and thinking about, and, and I, and, and like you said before, I don't, I don't do that anymore, but I'm quick to bring myself back to sitting in that hole and be like, nope, I'm heading out. Like I'm moving forward, right? Because we don't want to go back there. Right. So it's just, it's very real. Like I, I, I share with everybody that, and it goes back to what you and I said in the beginning, this is real. Like, right. You and I have lived bad stuff, traumatic moments. Yeah. Yeah. And I think it's, I, I think it's a wonderful thing to, to show someone through testimony that, right. There's this beautiful road yet traveled and, and you can, you can really have that thrive life that you desire that, you know, moving towards and for thrive, thrive is different for everybody, right? You, you have, right. You have table tennis. I have lifting weights, right? Right. right. So, and there's, and, and again, too, it's releasing that, um, oh, because you, you're different than me that it's, bad or good, right? It doesn't, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't go like that. No, it doesn't. No. Um, And then, you know, one of the things is though, especially when we're talking about the fuel for the flesh coaching program is that people want to know, Jen, how do I, whatever it is? Yeah. How do I, because, you know, we have the best listening audience on the planet, right? And they listen and have been listening for 15 years yep. because they get answers. They get the fill it. They get the blank filled in. You know, how do I, how do I love better? How do yeah. I live better? 100%. How do I feel better? 100%. Right? Yeah. I think that's so important. I, I just, I always, whether it's here with you in my coaching or on my show, I just always love to leave the listeners with with something to do because I think that every little step matters and that's what I love that's even what I love about working out when people like one push-up just one you know what I mean one is one is on to two and two (laughs) is on to three same thing with 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 you saying right 70 times you all those times that you've said it though that has moved you one step closer yeah. than, than giving into fear. Yeah. I think that was like a little trick. Totally. The 70, because oh, have you that. ever tried to do something when somebody says, do yeah. it a hundred times? Yes. At about what point do you don't even know where you are? And so you're like, oh my gosh, I'm supposed to do this 70 times in a row. I lost count. Yeah. And you start over. That's right. <laughs> Hundred percent. It really worked for me, though. It totally works. Yeah, it totally works. I've done that. I've done that. Um, so, you know, one of the things that I I think it's important to kind of really, you know, wrap up with here is that when we put body confidence, mind fulfillment, and soul synchronicity together, mm-hmm. we're talking about health. We're talking about change in health, wealth, success, relationships, Everything. faith, spirituality, manifestation, yep. totally purpose. You know, we are talking about transformation. Total transformation. You know, we are talking about calling on what some people call the uh, supernatural or what you can't see. Mm-hmm. But yet there's you evidence are. that we can take that invisible mm-hmm. nature of things and make it manifest in real time. 100%. What, what, what do you say to folks that are listening about where do I begin, Jen? How do I do this? And what would it be like working in this program, Mm -hmm. Fuel for the Flesh? So I am a God girl. So just simply, if you, you know, hanging up today and and going about whether you're in your car or your home, my first um, thing I would say to you is just ask God, ask God for help, whether you've spoken to him 
in, not in 30 years or never spoken to him or speak to him every day is I would just seek God. And, and immediately I believe that you're going to start to see things changing. The other is in coaching with fuel for the flesh or coaching with me is that, you know, it's, I, I like to call it going from living glory to glory versus task to task. I feel like I know I, in the past, I've literally lived from task to task. I would write, you know what I mean? The night before I'd write my big 30 point to do list. And I'd feel so accomplished if I got 30 of them done. And if I only got 20 of them done because 10 more came on right throughout the day, I'd be a mess. And that's how I lived for 10 years. And so that's, and that's not thriving. So now I can still, I'm right. I'm still, I'm still doing laundry. I'm still, oh, I'm yeah. still right. I'm still taking care of kids. I'm, I'm still, I'm running my business. I'm creating new businesses. Um, and now I've just through, through what I've learned and what I want to share is that now I live from glory to glory. And so for me, that's turned into purpose, into fulfillment, mm-hmm. into, right. I, I just, you yeah. know, I mean, I got to be honest with you. If I, I don't know, if I left the earth tomorrow, I'd have no regrets. It just, I'm happy. You know, I've, I've done, I've accomplished a lot in the sense where I've given a lot of value, you know, to people. And that's, that's what I believe it's about. I've contributed a lot. Do I have a lot more to contribute? Absolutely. Uh, I just feel like that for me has been so much more real than just living task to task. Mm. What you've talked about is so important. It really is so important. The hardest thing for me to learn Mm -hmm. was that I couldn't undo my past. Yeah. I could clearly appreciate and make amends for things I had done or not done, by the way. Yeah. But I couldn't change them. But how I live in the world today and how I move forward is exactly like you said. It's not perfect. Mm-mm. It's imperfection mm-hmm. fueled mm-hmm. by a universal law, energy, spirit, God today. Mm-hmm. Yep. And what I love about that for myself around the edges of it is love. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that I don't get angry. No, oh, I don't know how angry I get, really. I get a little <laughs> angry, but then I, I don't even know what I'm angry about. It's just not my nature. It really yeah. isn't. Um, but I get hurt. That's my, that's my, what do they call that? Achilles heel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Linda says, you're, you're like a coconut. <laughs> like, people see you, like, with that outside, but you got that, like... <laughs> And I said, Linda, I got to tell you, have you ever eaten a coconut? That soft, that coconut, that white stuff in the coconut is not soft. So I think you're saying I'm not quite as hard as the shell. I'm a little softer. Yeah, yeah. But in the end, it's like you said, you got to build up the body confidence. You got to have mind fulfillment. And you got to connect it so the soul is completely synchronized. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. And, and, I, and just in closing, I would say just to what you just said is that mm-hmm. I invite you and, and, and others, you know, and I'll, I'll sum it up quickly. I, I, I just recently lost somebody who, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, we thought we'd be together forever. And, mm-hmm. and, and, and I learned from, from my partner, John, I learned He literally loved me unconditionally and I learned unconditional love. And I have to be honest with you. I just was thinking about this the other day. I can't wait. And I don't, I'm not saying this in a disrespectful way, but I almost can't wait to, for me to give, whether it be to another person or to this world, like he taught me unconditional love. I can't wait to, to spread that unconditional love out there. And I got to be honest with you, Pat, I'm okay. If it hurts, like, I'm, yes. I, right. I'm okay. Like I, I'm okay. Like, I feel like that hurt is, I don't know. It's an alive hurt. That's it's, the it, next show. Yeah. I'm okay. If it hurts, I'm okay. If it hurts. Yeah. I have to tell you the, everything you've said about that is so beautiful, Jen. And all of us, our hearts so go out to you 
Ah, oh, thank you. It's hard to imagine, but you're carrying the legacy of energy from a loving person and look at how it is going to shape your yeah. future. You've been listening to Thrive by Jen with Jennifer Zellop and Dr. Pat Basili. Join us monthly to train your body, mind, and soul to operate as one. Because when you thrive, you shine on all levels and you can accomplish anything. For more information on how to excel down to your deepest being, visit thrivebygen.com and stay tuned for the newest Thrive by Jen on the Dr. Pat Show Network and Transformation Talk Radio. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.